Clements Homebrew coming at you with a beer review. It's been a busy day. I, I built my hop screen today. I didn't get out to, to start harvesting the hops because we had guests over. We went out and uh, uh, picked berries. I've got some footage on that for Homebrew Wednesday. But now it's time for a beer. Another beer. Thank you to Joe, PatsFan1284. Check out his channel, PatsFan1284. And this is what he sent to me. This is a Pen Quarter Porter. The Pen Quarter Porter. It's a limited release, robust porter from DC Brow Brewing. I've never had a beer from uh, Washington, DC. So that's kind of fun. Kind of a unique beer. I love the little hat on there. And uh, they claim that it pushes onto the stout area, but it's only 5.5%, so we'll see. Let's give this one a try. Okay, I'm not pouring hard. I'm telling you, I still got more in the 12 ounce can. Look at my glass. Man, now that is, that is a big three finger head. If I had a bigger cup, it would be four. <laughs> it's a beautiful mocha color. I mean, really, that is a pretty beer for sure. The, it's dark. I've got light behind me. It's uh, setting in the evening. It's a little little after 7 and it is dark. It's opaque. I can see a little bit of brown hues at the bottom, uh, but it's a deep, deep, deep dark brown for sure. Let's try to get a nose on it through this head. Ooh, actually that has some great aromas. Yeah, and I can't swirl it even at this point, but I mean right away I get some roasted malts, and 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 uh, I can almost tell there's like a bitter edge on it, which is nice. But I get chocolate right away, and I get a lot of varying chocolates. So I get dark chocolate, and I get some like cocoa powder, you know, or cacao on there. Um, I get some vanilla on there, believe it or not. I think I got some like uh, hints of caramel and toffee. Oh yeah, they're there. I get coffee. Oh, some kind of an espresso is on this. I mean, it's just shouting out on me. I kind of wonder if there's not oats on this as well, which account for the head really well. Wow, for 5.5%, the aromas coming off the pen quarter porter is just phenomenal. You get some brown sugar in there, maybe a hint of some char, but it's definitely some nice sweetness on there. And a little bit of earthiness as well, um, which have got to be whatever they did for hops. Just a really good aroma. Let's get a taste. That's nice. The taste isn't as great as the aroma. It, in the middle, kind of fades out. It thins out. You get a little bit more of the roast. Some of the espresso on there. The very beginning, though, comes in very rich. So we're going to get another sip. I get a little bit of molasses on there. I get some roastiness. It really kind of dries off on the back. But you get some chocolate, hints of fudge, um, a little bit of char taste. Like I say, kind of a lightly bitter roasty taste on it. Hints of brown sugar. Um, a little bit earthy. But definitely some cocoa powder and the cacao type taste. Hints of vanilla. And I still think there might be some oak on it. I'm going to take some time with this and we'll be back with a rating. You could see that Mrs. was picking uh, vegetables in the background. I mean, is that not just a beautiful tomato? You won't find anything better than that in the store. That's for sure. Cheers to that. I've let this warm quite a bit. I, I, I wish I you had seen what I had just a minute ago. There was just the most beautiful lacing up on the sides, but you can see it kind of has some legs coming down. A lot more of the molasses type fill has come out and a little bit more of the um, uh, bitter roast on the back side is out and then it just dries out moderately on the back. All right, ratings, that's what it's all about. And i got to tell you, I'm very impressed. It's, it's a very, very nice beer. Um, you know, it's, I don't think it's that world-class level by any means, but it's definitely an outstanding beer. So I think, uh, I think we're going to rate this one. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at about an 89 for Robust Porter. So the top end of that B+, plus, just missing that A-. minus. Very good. Overall, Really easy to slide it in, about an 86, just uh, at that B or B plus range. Um, really good beer, very, very enjoyable beer. So here it is, it's the Pen Quarter Porter from DC Brow Brewing. 
And uh, again, my first uh, beer from uh, Washington, D.C. Again, thank you, Joe. This is uh, a fun little beer. I'd say this would be a fun one to replace. If you're in D.C. area, get this instead of an Irish stout for St. Paddy's Day. Hey, this is Kevin from Clements Homebrew saying life is too short to drink cheap beer. And I will see you in the next beer review. Cheers, guys.